September 1st, 1989. Dear Diary, I believe I'm a good person. You know, I think that there is good in everyone, but here we are, first day of senior year, and um, I look around at these kids that I've known all my life, and I ask myself, what happened? Heather is to see 
What? Boom. Let me sit at your table that once, just once. No talking necessary. If you think you guys tolerate me, then leave me alone. <laughs> Before you answer, I also do report cards, permission slips, and absence notes. How about prescription? Shut up, Heather. Sorry, Heather. <laughs> Greasy little nobody, you do have good bone structure. And a symmetrical face. If I took a meat cleaver down the center of your skull, I'd have matching calves. <laughs> That's very important. Of course, you could stand to lose a few cows. And you know, you know, you know, this could be beautiful. Mascara, maybe some lip gloss, and we're on our way. Get this girl some blush, and Heather, I need your brush. Let's make her beautiful. Let's make her beautiful. Let's make her beautiful. Let's make her beautiful. Oh. Okay. Okay. Out of my way, Dee. I was a bird. We're gonna die at 3 p.m. Don't you dare touch me. Get away from me. Come on, 
Watchdogs and Diet Coke kids. They're gonna crush that girl. I'm sorry, what? You've clearly got a soul. You just gotta work harder keeping it clean. We're all born marks for evil. Oh, excuse me. Don't just quote Baudelaire at me and then walk away. Hello? I didn't catch your name. <laughs> I didn't throw it. Man, who's that guy in the French coat who thinks he is? Christian Slater? <laughs> Uh, let's kick his ass. Dude, come on. We're seniors. We're too old for that shit. <laughs> hey, princess. What did your boyfriend say when you told him you were moving to Sherwood, Ohio? My buddy Kirk here asked you a question. <laughs> hey, Ram, uh, doesn't this school have a no fags allowed policy? You know, I don't know what your problem is, but I think it's really hard for you to pronounce. <laughs> Hold his arms. <laughs> No name kid, so might you be 
You ever gonna tell me your name? Hold on, this is Pence. Jason Dean. JD for short. So, JD, that um, thing you pulled at the cap was pretty severe. The extreme always seems to make an impression. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, what's uh, Baudelaire quoting badass like you doing in Sherwood, Ohio? Oh, well, my dad's work. He, uh, he enjoys tearing things down. Tearing things down. See Marshall? <laughs> I'm Big Bud Dean. It's in your way. I'll make your day. <laughs> right. And then he pushes the plunger down and the screen blows up. <laughs> <laughs> That's your dad? In all his toxic glory. Cool. Everyone's life's got static. Veronica! Example. I don't really like my friends. I don't like your friends either. Say, back to party. Hang here. At the 7-Eleven? Swanky first date. Hey, I love this place. No offense, but why? I've been through ten high schools. They start to get blurry. No point planting roots, cause you're gone in a hurry. My dad keeps two suitcases packed in the den. So it's only a matter of when. I don't know their names. Don't bother with faces. All I can trust is this concrete oasis. Seems every time I'm about to despair, there's a 7 left right there. Each store is the same, from Las Vegas to Boston. Linoleum aisles that I love to get lost in. I pray at my altar of sludge. Yeah, I live for that sweet frozen rush. Freeze your brain. Suck on that straw, get lost in the pain. Happiness comes when everything numbs. Who needs cocaine? Freeze your brain. Halfway normal. Now <laughs> my dad were less formal. I learned to cook pasta. I learned to pay rent. Learned the world doesn't owe you a cent. You're planning your future, Veronica Sawyer. You go to some college, then marry a lawyer. But the sky's gonna hurt when it falls. So you better start building some walls.
Now the Henshaws have my number at the cabin, but if they call a complaint for any reason, I'm gonna drive all the way back here myself and knock the sand right out of your vagina. <laughs> dude, what am I, five? Hey, I'm your dad, not your dude. That was dumb for you, Kurt. Your guest in Bill's house and you treat him as respect. You got it, dude. Hold his arms. Come on, Dad. Mr. Sweeney, come on.